Yo. Ha ha. Bill Nicholson. What is good, YouTube? Your boy Bill Nicholson coming back with another quick video, man. Today we got another unboxing to do from Chewbacca because I was able to pick up the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact, the Sleep Partners. I mean, honestly, the Sleep Partners is one of those things where. I had my eye on doing a restock in terms of the Yeezy releases for Adidas, but I couldn't get my hands on my size because it went by that quick. And for those that don't know, um, I do have a series of Yeezy 350s. If you don't know, like there have been so many different changes and variations of the Yeezy 350 model. Of course, if you start with the Yeezy 350, you want to say this one's the V1 Pirate uh, Black. This one had a slightly different design. Um, it definitely had a Yeezy pad on the interior of the design. The actual prime knit that sits on top is more flexible. It had no paneling or any pads on the interior. And that's why this particular model, in my opinion, is comfortable. It's just that when you get to that whole Yeezy boost, it's not as exposed to the actual rubber or outsole of the actual shoe. So it's more stiff than the V version 2. This is version 1. So, but again, one of the key things about the V1 is that it had flexibility on the prime knit. There was nothing kind of restraining it. And you can basically move it to wherever you want. And of course, they gave you those rope style laces uh, with the uh, the heel tab on the back. And, you know, this is this is a classic, right? So then they transitioned to the whole Yeezy 350 V2 where they actually have that paneling on the inside of the prime knit. It's a prime knit upper, kind of the same design. The only difference is that uh, when you put this on, there's paneling on the inside that helps keep the structure of the actual upper of the Yeezy 350 V2. And for some people, they were saying like this paneling, which I'll show you a video right here, is the reason why they felt like this was comfy towards the bottom, but it kind of bothered them along the top. But I get why they did the design and the Yeezy 350 V2 came with the same heel tab, on certain models, and then they removed it on certain models. Um, you had a reflective version and a non-reflective version. Either the, the entire prime knit would, would reflect or the actual shoelace would reflect and then, you know, vice versa. But they always had that rubber outsole with the Yeezy Boost on the actual bottom. The difference with this is that this one have more flexibility. Um, it's a little bit more dense and the Boost is closer to the actual outsole than it was on the version 1. Um, and I think another difference, if I'm not mistaken, is that the sizing for this, actually, when you look on the, the upper, you have that vent on version two where you don't have that here. But the sizing of the actual V2, most people had issues. So they either went a half size up or they went a full size up, depending on the structure of your feet. And I felt like the V1, although it looks smaller, it, it was more flexible by design and that's just because again you didn't have that paneling that was restricting some of the actual i want to say distance from your your big toe towards the end that's why you have kind of like this pokey or poked or i want to say pointy design but it was definitely you couldn't put your foot all the way up to the top and kind of that's the same thing with this but you you had more room to push your foot up than this so then they also came out with the whole uz350 v2 the mono series where this is mostly mesh, but you can see the paneling and it's a different type of paneling that they have on the interior of this version than this version, or at least on the V2. Uh, the difference is that if this one is, is just pull, it's pretty much just full mesh. Um, and it has the paneling to keep everything upright. And of course, same rubber design, same Yeezy Boost exposure at the bottom. Um, and of course, it, it doesn't it definitely has like the hill tab on the back uh, most Yeezy 350 V2 models have the three stripes, the three reflective stripes on the back towards the heel. There's also additional padding towards the heel on the V2 versus the V1. But then comes the Yeezy 350 V2 compact series, which pretty much changed the game. And the reason why I kept bringing up the paneling is because they got rid of it, just like they never had it in the V1. And they basically gave you a prime knit upper that's more expandable. So when you look at the, the V2, um, you're looking at a prime knit that's kind of strict. And it's restrictive based off that paneling that's on the inside. So it's not like you have a lot of, a lot of movement, I should say. 
Whereas this, this prime knit is expandable. And the difference that they did on this versus the version one, they added foam. So the foam sits in between the interior and the exterior of the actual prime knit. So you're feeling that foam padding on the tongue and towards like the ankle of your actual foot. You can see it, you'll feel it on both sides as soon as you put this on. And what's happening is as soon as you put that your foot in, your foot just feels like it is basically being covered with pillow and cushion. So each step you take is just, this makes it the, the most comfiest, I want to say Yeezy out of all the, the, the other models. And also the collar. The collar is, is done a little bit different. Instead of uh, giving you like that thin collar design that they did on the version one and the actual version two, where you have a little bit of padding on the back on this, they gave you a full blown sock on the collar, but it's, it's real, it's not thick, but it's thick enough to cover your entire ankle. So there's comfort all over this. You still have the same rope style um, laces. This is the infinity lace where uh, everything is kind of like put together. You don't have to tie anything, but the, even the lacing is a little bit different on the uh, version, the compact series than the actual V2. And the reason why I'm bringing all this up is so people know what to expect when you buy the Easy 350 V2 compact series and you're trying to figure out what the difference is between all four models. So with that said and done, man, let's take a look. Again, Shoebaka. Shout out to you guys because I really wanted the uh, Slate Pandas. I know there's a Slate Bone version, but I wanted the Slate Pandas on the Magnificent channel. Again, this was hard to get because of my size. As soon as they marked down the prices and everything went for sale, I had no chance. So let me just do the whole slide out drawer real quick. And oh man, yes sir. And you'll see a video right here of me comparing the Yeezys and kind of when you see it in, in, in daylight, this, this whole natural color. Let me just take this out real quick. Yes, sir. This is the second one. Um, and yeah, for those, those wondering, usually with the, uh, the Yeezys, they came out with infinity laces, but you had, on certain models, you had the option of swapping it out with actual... Um, like regular laces, but you don't have that option with this. But it's also okay, right? So let's try to look at this real quick because we have the Yeezy 350 V2 Compact, the Slate Pandas, you can see right there. By design, pretty much the same thing that I showed you uh, previously with the Slate Carbons, if I'm not mistaken. But this one, in my opinion, is, is one of the most classic Yeezy Compact series. I love the black kind of sock liner on the Prime Net. And I will say like it's like a mixture of a cream grayish, creamish uh, colorway because by design, I felt like this this is definitely nice. And actually feeling this for the first time, the padding, man, this one feels real good. And you can feel it kind of like between, if you take your hand and kind of go in here like this and you kind of grab, you'll feel the padding of the foam that sits in between the prime knit for this. Uh, but by design, man, it's like it's like a milky type of whitish. It almost looks like the uh, the zebras, Yeezy 350 uh, V2 zebras in terms of the outsoles, what they use, it looks like. Uh, but, you know, you'll see a picture right here. But the actual Yeezy boost that's being exposed at the bottom. Uh, and, of course, let me look at the production date and see if they have it. Uh, this one is showing, you'll see a picture right here, July 2022. One of the things that actually, another difference between the, the compact series in terms of the Yeezy 350 series versus the other V2 and V1, even the mono, is that on all three of these, the insert is actually in here. It's, it's removable. And you actually be able to see that the Yeezy boost kind of exposed when you take the, the actual um, insert out. But... There is no insert on the compact series. Everything is all one knit upper and it's stitched in to the point where it's just like one full blown sock. So that is one of the most interesting designs that I've seen. But again, I think the difference between the compact series when you, you're trying to figure out which one is the most comfiest, in my opinion, it's definitely this. And I thought it was brilliant that they not only use the prime knit, like a softer prime knit, uh, material, but you also incorporated the foam in between on key parts of the foot to make this, in my opinion, the most comfiest Yeezy 350 V2 model. 
and they just ran with it. I, I just wish that I would have hopped on this a lot earlier than I expected, but I'm glad to get it now before the whole Yeezy uh, trend kind of dies off, or at least the, the sales dies off. And I wanted to make sure I got mine before this goes out of rotation. I think people are starting to catch on, even in the sneaker community, who were Yeezy fans, who weren't really a fan of the compact series before. Word got out about the whole tech specs, and then when people started feeling it and seeing it in hand versus what you were seeing on the pictures online, I don't think the pictures do it justice unless you see it in hand and then you put it on foot. It'll definitely change your perception, or at least your <laughs> what you thought of the actual uh, compact series. But comment below. Let me know if you were able to pick up your size on a Shubaka website. Uh, again, size 13 is not easy to get, especially when it comes back to the compact series. I think that this is going to be one of the most highly coveted Yeezys moving forward, at least towards the end. Because, again, I don't think that there's another Yeezy that uh, maybe the 700 V2 series, but I don't think there's another model that compares to the comfort style that the Yeezy 350 V2 brings. At least the compact brings to the table. Man, oh, man, we got to do the on feed because I got to I got to put this on feed. But your boy, Mel Nemson, man, the Yeezy 350 V2 compact with the Slate Pandas. Let's do that on feed. Before we get to the on feed, if you were wondering what was around my neck, this is the Toros neck air conditioning unit. Um, this device does wonders, especially for your body, specifically during the summer, fall days, doesn't matter. But since we are in the fall, heading into winter, your body temperature kind of fluctuates and changes, and this helps to regulate body temperature. In fact, it not, not only does air conditioning and fan, but it also has a heat setting. So it's basically keeping your neck warm, at least the back of your neck warm, with three different panels that you can see on the actual design. I will leave a link in the description for you guys so you can read about this, more information. Um, of course, this definitely has an app where you can adjust the temperature settings. This thing is priceless, and it makes so much comfort on your day-to-day, -day, especially if you're at your, 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 you know, your office and you're trying to get things done. This is sitting on your neck and your temperature, you know, it can basically determine your day-to-day. -day. So if you're looking for the perfect temperature setting, Toros Cyber is the version that I have right now that's been on my neck, and it has been a classic. But your boy, Mel Nipson, man, I am out. Now let's do that on feet, and you guys stay blessed. Oh.